In a two-day span, the city of Aldosta saw more than 20 entering auto cases. Fox 31's Courtney Highfield connects you to what police are doing about it and why they say it happened. Lakeview Drive seems like a pretty quiet street during the day, but at night, police say they're dealing with a spike in entering autos. And this isn't the only area in the city having a problem. Looks like there's a concentration with this spike in the past couple days in about three areas of the town. And we have been heavily patrolling these, these areas where it's been happening at. The police department is already hard at work trying to find the suspects, and they believe the break ins could be related. As we try to combat that with more aggressive patrols, uh, you know, we've, we also have the, uh, 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 some uh, surveillance cameras, cameras we put out along the city that help us with, with entering autos and bur burglaries and things of that nature, too. One lieutenant says some of these entering autos, however, could have been avoided. They're both forced, forced entry and, and those that are left unlocked. What I try and tell people is uh, if you're going to leave your valuables in the car, you know, hide them. Maybe if you can put them in a the trunk, at least lock the doors. And as we get closer to the holiday season, the police department is urging the community to be safe rather than sorry. Especially around, just right after Thanksgiving, we, we see a spike. That's one of the reasons we take our mobile command vehicle, put it over by the mall, because in the past we've had vehicle break-ins at the mall. Law enforcement will also be working with their automatic vehicle locator system to create alert zones around the city. Courtney Highfield, Fox 31 News.